First of all, which data structures did you learn in CSA? There were two of them mostly, yes. Arrays and array lists. Okay, arrays and array lists. So we'll just write those down. So these are data structures. Data. You can think of data structures as structures that hold data, and the way that they're arranged is you don't really care what's inside them. They perform certain features for you, but you don't really care whether you're working on integers, decimals, cats, dogs, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so arrays are here, and we said array lists, and these were the CSA, so I'll just mark these as the CSA data structures. And then what, what, which ones did we learn here this year? Who wants to give me, yes sir, go ahead. Stack, Stack okay, and uh, what would be another one? Yes sir. Link list. Link list, okay. And what else? Yes sir. Sets. Sets. Okay, I'm going to mark this one in red for a second. Okay, and what else? Yes, sir. Maps. Maps. See, you've already learned a lot of data structures. Yes. What else? Yes. Trees. Uh, we haven't learned trees yet, sir. <laughs> That's what the next month and a half of your life is about. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Did we learn anything else? I think that's a pretty good list, right? All right, I'm going to just swap these two. I'm going to put maps up here, and I'm going to put sets underneath. And um, we're going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to just put this aside for a second because it's got some special properties. And just look at the ones that are blue on this list. And what do you notice that are common characteristics of all these data structures? Okay, Ben, what do you think? Uh, they implement collections. Uh, arrays does not implement collections, uh, okay. and maps does not implement collections. I was thinking more generally, more, more sort of, not Java specific, but just in general with these data structures. What can we say about them? Yes, sir. They all hold data. They hold data. Well, yeah, that's true. They're data structures, so they hold data. That's true. What, what, what else can you notice that's just kind of similar about them? Yes, sir. They're linear. They're linear. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean to say that the data structures are linear? Okay, Ms. Mila. Yes. They're, they're in some kind of order, or, or uh, even maps, that's not really true. Uh, but th there's, like a, there's like a continuation of them, and they're in kind of a line. They're in, kind of, uh, in fact, you know what? I, I, even maps don't really conform to this so much. But the other ones do. They, they, there's like a beginning, there's an end, and then there's a sequence, right? So putting these two aside for a second, these are the ones. It's quite clear what that is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to branch out, literally branch out into a data structure which is nonlinear. This will be our first nonlinear data structure, and it's going to be a tree. And to understand one of the uses of trees, well, let's consider uh, a situation where we want to store and manipulate the organizational table of an organization such as West Hill High School. So if I was going to somehow draw the administrative structure, who would be at the top of the structure there? Who would that be? Yes, sir. Rinaldi. So that'll be Rinaldi. So let me, uh, I'll, I'll use a circle to represent him and I'll say Michael Rinaldi will be there. Now, who would we put underneath that structure there? Yes. Assistant principal. Assistant principal. So who would those four people be? Mr. Wax. Mr. P. J. Wax. And who else? Maybe put Mr. Pasmino there also. Juan Pasmino, we'll put him in there too. Okay, now, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but each of the vice principals, uh, they, they, they own certain departments, academic departments. So for example, uh, Peter Rinaldi, he owns the math department. I know that because I'm in the math department, right? So here, who would we put like under each of these people, for example? What do you think, yes? Department heads. So here, for example, Mr. Michael Capriotti would be here, and I think uh, the science department head. Uh, what is her name? Uh, uh, is it Diane McNamara? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, Diane McNamara, like that. So, and, and then I don't know who all these other department heads are, but they would be under here. And then over here, under Mr. Capriotti, who would be under Mr. Capriotti here? You. Know, all the math teachers, right? So there's like 20 of them up here, like 20. 22, I think, was like some crazy number of math teachers. And here's me right at the bottom of the ladder right there. See that? That's me. Okay, so this data organization, it, it, it's different 
from these, I'm gonna just erase these for a second because these are sort of exceptions. But let's look at these over here. This organizing data this way is different from organizing it this way in two major respects. We've already talked about one of them. Uh, there's another thing that makes it different. See if you can figure out with your partner, what are the two ways that this arrangement is different from this arrangement? So we've kind of already hinted towards it. I just want to bring it back together. What is the one way that it's different with the main thing we were talking about earlier? What is it? Yes, sir. Right. As opposed to this, which is what? Linear. It's linear. So this is linear. That's nonlinear. There's also another thing about this. Yes, sir. Let's say I have an array. Here's an array, right? Is there something different, unusual about this element versus, say, this element here in terms of positioning? Is there something one better than the other, one get paid more? Anything like that? No. What about on this chart right here? Yes. Okay, it's hierarchical. See, it's hierarchical, right? So the fact that it's hierarchical and that it's nonlinear. Yes, sir. It means it doesn't have random access. Is that what you're getting? No, uh, some of these have random access and some of them do not, but this, it, it doesn't have random access, but that uh, uh, link lists don't have random access either. Uh, but it's, it's hierarchical. So the position, it matters, like how, how high up you are, it makes a difference, see that? Okay, so it turns out that, okay, so those are the two ways that trees are inherently different.